everybody. It's lovely to see you again. I hope you've had a really good week. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. This is another story about Jesus. And it's a very special story because this week is what's called Holy Week. And at the end of the week, we have Easter. And it's the story of why we have Easter. Are you ready? I right, can get my pictures. The Easter story. Do you know what these are called? These posts with this cross beam on it. They're called crosses. And you'll see why there's a picture of them in a few minutes. Let's make a start. Jesus arrived in Jerusalem. Everyone was cheering and shouting, Hooray! Here comes our King! Can you see Jesus riding on the donkey? And look, the people are so excited. They're waving palm branches, just like their flags. They've even thrown them on the floor like a carpet for the donkey to walk on. Hooray! said everyone. They were very excited. Turn the page. There we go. A few days later, Jesus sat down to have a very special meal with his friends. It was Passover, a very special festival. While they were sitting eating, Jesus told his friends that very soon he was going to die. Everyone was very, very sad. But Jesus said that every time they ate bread, there's the bread, and drank wine, together, there's Jesus holding some wine. Every time they ate bread and drank wine together, then they should remember him. But they were still very sad. After the meal, they went to a garden and there Jesus prayed. He knew that what was coming was going to be very hard he didn't really want it to happen, but he said to God, if it has to be, I will do it. Jesus was very, very sad. Maybe he was scared too. Then there was a noise. Jesus' friends woke up and they could hear some people coming. Judas, one of their friends, was leading soldiers into the garden. Those soldiers arrested Jesus when Judas showed them who he was. The soldiers took Jesus away. Jesus' friends were very scared and they ran away. The soldiers made Jesus carry a cross out of the city and out to a hill. The cross was very, very heavy. Jesus struggled to carry it. There were crowds watching. Some of the crowds laughed at him, but other people were very sad and cried as he passed. Outside the city, Jesus was put on the cross. Two other men were also put on the cross. The other men were bad men. They had done things wrong and they deserved to be punished. But Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. He had to hang on the cross. It was very painful until he died. That meant he didn't talk to anyone anymore. He stopped breathing. His heart stopped beating. He was still. He was gone. No one would be able to talk to Jesus anymore. After he died, Jesus' body was put in a tomb. Here's the tomb. It was a cave. And to stop anyone going in, 
a big stone was rolled across in front of it. No one could get in. To make extra sure, soldiers were put on guard. That was on a Friday. And the soldiers were on guard for days. Three days later, some of Jesus' friends, some of the ladies, came to see the grave. But when they got to the tomb, the stone was rolled away. Mary, Mary Magdalene, was one of the ladies who went to the tomb. She was really worried. Where is Jesus, she said. Suddenly, an angel appeared. And the angel told Mary that Jesus wasn't dead anymore. He had come back to life. Mary was ever so excited and she ran to tell all of Jesus' friends. I'm not sure they really believed her. But later on, Jesus' friends met Jesus themselves. He came to them. He talked to them. He ate. Jesus was alive. He wasn't dead anymore. And over the next few weeks, he spent lots of time with them before going back to heaven to be with God. Everyone was happy at last. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to say now, have a lovely Easter. Bye!